All right, everybody. Today we are going to be making some mazes or a labyrinth. Now, what you'll have in your package is you'll have a box, and inside the box will be taped uh, the pattern of the the maze uh, inside the box, so you can follow easily along. You'll also receive a bunch of straws, as well as a marshmallow. Your, you'll find your marshmallows in the bag that you had yourself for your lava lamp. What you'll need is you'll need some glue and some scissors. It's pretty straightforward with making your maze. You'll take your straws and you will you'll find the shapes or the lines and you'll do some measurements of how long the lines are and you'll just cut them down to size. Remember where each one goes. And then once you have your uh, maze shape, you'll take glue and you'll put glue down the lines like this. And then you will just stick your straws down like so and there's your maze now the marshmallow is how you'll get from point A to point B and you'll do this by just kinda turning the maze and trying to get that marshmallow to go through we picked marshmallows because it's a little bit more of a challenge. Now if the marshmallow jumps over the edge, you gotta start back over. So this makes it a little bit more fun that way. So you'll wanna get that marshmallow up, but eventually you'll wanna get it all the way through that maze and over to the end part. Now, this project, there's one per house, so everyone can have their own uh, part in making the maze. You can have someone help cutting the straws for you. You can have someone help laying the straws down. And then what I would recommend is that once your maze is done, take whatever paints or anything that you have in the house to decorate and just decorate the outside of the box just so it looks uh, a little bit more fun and, and jazzy. So there you go, there's our maze project for the day, and I hope you have fun doing it.